got a useful one today. As you can see, I've got a lot of different clips and tracks on this sequence, and I want to select all past a certain point. So instead of just box selecting a bunch, I can actually take a shortcut and make sure that I select everything from a certain point on. Um, and that shortcut is just A on your keyboard, and then you'll get these double arrows. Also, if you don't want to use the shortcut, you can hit this button here called Track Select Forward. Now with the double arrows, anytime I click anywhere on my timeline, it will select everything from there to the right because those arrows are, are pointing right. So if I just click down, I can see it's got everything to the right of where I clicked selected. Now if I wanted to grab my move tool and move them all, I can, and I don't have to worry uh, that I missed anything. But what if I want to grab everything to the left? Well, you can hit A again on your keyboard and you can see that it's going to be the right select. So to reverse that, I just hit Shift A on my keyboard. And then when I release, I get the same double arrows, but this time pointing to the left. So if I just click down, I can select everything to the left. And now you can see that this button has changed and it is now pointing backwards. Um, one little trick is if you only want to select one row or one track, you can hold down shift for the left, or I can hit A and then hold down shift for the right and get only one track. So if I'm holding down shift, I'm getting only one track. So that's it. I hope this helped you guys. The keyboard shortcut can really help and it especially helps when you have a lot of things going on and you don't want to miss anything when shifting your timeline around. So thanks for watching. Check out my playlist in Premiere and I'll see you in another video.